Hello everyone, Justin to Gaming here, and welcome back to episode 4 of Goalie 101. That's right, it's back. I might not have time to upload this weekend, so I'm working as fast as I can to get this one done. I went over the basics of playing Goalie in the first three episodes of Goalie 101, as well as how to read set plays in episodes 1, 2, and 3 of the EASHL series. But this episode is all about how to position yourself in every area of the ice. This is where I like to generally play, but you can use this as a blueprint and mold it to fit your play style. As of now, I am a stand-up goalie. Almost all of these tips will apply to hybrid and butterfly as well. There will just be a few scenarios where I'll probably stand up and you would prefer to butterfly. No big deal, but let's get started. The three components to being a successful goalie are as follows. Reflexes, your ability to read plays, and your starting position. And I call it the starting position because you can be in many places to make the save, but you need to find yourself the best position to make multiple saves from different angles. Notice how I didn't say goalie builds. There is no skill build. You're the one that has the skill, but you need to find the build that best fits your play style. The first thing I will talk about is when the puck is by the point or the half boards. A big mistake I'll see goalies make is being way too aggressive on shots from the outside. When you're that far out of your net, yeah you cut down the angle, but you also make it very difficult to come across the crease for any potential rebounds. You also don't want to be too deep and goal line it because it makes you more vulnerable to tip-ins. I like to stand here because any shot towards the near post will be saved and go to the corner, and if they look for a cross or rebound opportunity, I have a short distance to move to make the save. Next, let's talk about the deadliest area on the ice, and that is the slot. You see the two dashed lines inside the crease? That is your guide for where to position yourself when they're in the slot. I'll usually stand just under those marks for angle shots, and just under the top of the crease for shots in the middle of the ice. If they have a loaded wrist shot in the middle, you can go out a little bit more. For angled shots, make sure you have that short side covered. Once you know you're in position, don't move and either wait for the shot or the pass. This next area of the ice is one of the tougher spots to find the position you're comfortable with, and that is the wide angle shots by the goal line. Although it sounds a little weird, I choose my positioning based on the other skaters around my net. If they are too far away to be seen as a threat, I'll just stand up just past the post and completely cut off his angle to the net. If he tries to crash the net, then I'll drop to butterfly and protect 5-hole. If I see people near the net that are considered threats, then I'll probably hold the post with both triggers. It'll cut off short side and give me less distance to cover should they attempt a cross crease or centering pass. A similar rule applies for when the puck is in the corners. Since the puck carrier is no threat to score, I look at the players around me. If they have people close to my net, I'll sit butterfly and position myself towards them. If not, then I'll be stand up towards the nearest threat. And if the puck is directly behind your net, sit butterfly until they make a move. Be ready to hold that post for a wraparound, especially on the backhand. If they head towards the corner, then I'll survey the ice as previously stated. For cross creases, remember this is a stand up build, and your goalie can move across the crease very quickly while standing up. I try to move across the crease standing up, and then I'll drop to the butterfly as I get to where I want to be. However, the farther the shot, I'm more likely to stay standing up. People might have concerns about the 5 hole for a stand up goalie, it's honestly not a problem. Here are a few clips where I did not press left trigger or L2 to drop to the butterfly, and my goalie still makes the low save on his own. This doesn't mean I don't drop to butterfly at all, I just wait until the skaters get really close, or for one-timers. If it's a one-timer from the point, I'll try to challenge the shot and butterfly. So there's all the tips I have for positioning, I've covered every area of the ice. Hopefully these tips helped, and remember, just take the tips that I gave you and mold them to fit your play style. Leave a comment below, I'd love to know what you thought of the video. Remember to like, share with your friends that play NHL, and click that subscribe button if I've earned it. I'll leave my Twitter and Twitch links below, it helps keep you updated on my channel, or if you just want to talk to me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and keep making those big saves.